Uh, this morning, officers responded to a report of a pedestrian being struck uh, by the Music City Star Train. Uh, the conductor. The conductor reports that the individual was on the train trestle. So the pedestrian was actually trying to walk across the train trestle when he was struck from behind. Uh, there were some headphones recovered. We're not certain, but it's possible that uh, the man was perhaps listening to music as he was crossing this train trestle. Uh, he was also wearing a backpack. Uh, the conductor did blow the horn. Uh, did try to uh, break, but of course there wasn't enough time to stop before striking the pedestrian. Fire department personnel did recover the man's body uh, from the Stones River. This is a train trestle that crosses the Stones River. Uh, we are working to positively identify the pedestrian and also once that happens, uh, then we'll be able to notify next of kin. Um, so not identifying the man's age or name at this point. We don't have any idea why he was on the train tracks. It seems kind of like a remote area over there. He was walking across the train trestle, presumably to cross the river. Uh, he was wearing a backpack. Uh, we uh, have heard that there were headphones recovered or, or ear, ear pods, buds recovered. So it's possible his back was to the train. Uh, it's possible he did not hear the train coming. Chris, was this, do you guys know if this was a homeless man? Do you have an address? He lives somewhere? We have no identification uh, regarding the pedestrian at this time. Uh, the medical examiner will work to make positive identification. Uh, he was uh, seriously hurt uh, in this crash, so identification will be more challenging. Uh, but again, we will make identification. Once that occurs, uh, then we'll notify next of kin. But at this point, we do not know who this individual is or his background. I don't know. I don't know that. I was just going to say, kind of along those lines, as far as just train versus pedestrian, when you hear about it, but just this just, whole situation just seems even more, I guess, unusual. This is the first situation like this that I'm aware of. Uh, with me is Amanda McClellan from the MTA. Amanda? Um, yeah, I'm, Chris has pretty much provided all of the information uh, that we have so far. Um, we are just going to fully cooperate in the police's investigation. We, uh, right now, um, will be operating our normal service this afternoon um, with a different uh, train crew um, as per FRA regulations um, until the investigation is completed. Amanda, do you have a head count of how many people were on board the train? There were approximately 300 passengers on board this morning, and we brought in a separate train car set to let those passengers continue on their commute to downtown Nashville, and then we provided shuttle services from Riverfront Station to their places of employment. Just for the record, no injuries of any of those passengers you guys have been made aware of? No. Okay. So that's about an average number for, let's say, a Tuesday morning, 300 or so? Um, about. Um, this was at approximately 7.20 a.m. Uh, from what I've been told, so that was in the middle of our commute. Um, that was probably one of our heavier uh, of the three trips that we take in the mornings. Um, but we transport approximately a thousand passengers a day. So that's about average for us. Do you know the last stop that train made before this happened? Or what was the last station? That hasn't been confirmed to me, but given our location right now, I would think that that's the Hermited station. Um, and then there were passengers waiting at the Donaldson station uh, that we were able to later accommodate. That's Chris, where it was headed to? I'm sorry. That's yes. where it was headed to? Yes. Okay. Chris was mentioning, I mean, the, the conductor, he was honking. He was doing every. It sounds like he was doing everything he could to alert this person walking. I mean, that's kind of what you look for in these types of situations as far as your own investigation. Can you talk just a little bit about that? Uh, that's really all the information that I have about that right now, but uh, the train operation group is, they have a good safety record uh, when it comes to these things, and they are trained professionals, so uh, I am under the impression that they did everything that they were supposed to do. Two, I'm sorry, two questions here. Is um, There used to be videotape ongoing of every single you know, minute that the train was running, especially in the front end, uh, heading towards, you know, there was, the tape was rolling during this particular instance? That hasn't been made aware to me right now, but okay. I can find that out. Also, real good. Sometimes in these types of investigations, the NTSB and other, you know, government organizations like that step in. Do you know if anybody like that will step in for something like this? I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure whether or not they have yet, but if anyone is going to be investigating, we will we will fully cooperate with them and with the the Nashville Metro PDs. So train is still on the tracks right now. I know Chris, you mentioned everyone's been transferred to a different bus, or I'm sorry, rather a train. But the the train is still actually on the tracks, and I assume it'll be there for quite some time. Uh, I, uh, unknown. Yeah, that's unknown to me right now. Will the train be operating this afternoon? The this afternoon's operations will be as normal. Um, we don't expect any delays.